hi friends welcome to my youtube channel so today we're going to solve the paper um, for third physics olympia 2019 it was organized by assam physical society so let us solve it actually this is uh, the question paper based on class 9 and 10 okay physics so let us solve for question number one okay question number one that's given here a man is standing on a spring platform reading of spring balance is 60 kg weight if he jumps outside from the platform then reading of the spring balance will become what it will increase first it will increase then it will become zero or become zero or remain same so you have to think here the condition so when you sit on that spring balance before okay and after a few minutes when you jump from there you know very well in that moment you used to put pressure on that spring balance that means in that time the weight will increase right and after that it will become zero that means the option is correct option is well, option number b light here is used to measure distance between stars or distance between atoms or distance between stationary charges or none of this the correct option is option number a distance between stars because we know very well speed of light right then speed we know already speed we know then speed is there that means distance by time correct now when this light will pass from one place to another place it will take little bit time that means we will get the time and we have all the speed already so from that equation so we will get the distance right that means we can easily find out the distance from this formula that is why light is used to measure distance between the stars okay now question number three a particle revolves around the circular path now, a particle revolve around the circular path okay the acceleration of the particle is inversely proportional to the acceleration is what inversely proportional to the what radius correct radius as they are asking so you know very well the answer is of course radius only they have given few options but correct answer is option number a because you see when we reduce the radius that time the circular path you know very well it will not be vertical so it will be more closer so we have to take more turn that means velocity will be changing for more turns that means when velocity will change that means acceleration will be more right it will increase and when you increase the radius that time the way will get more that means uh, the acceleration will be reducing there correct because we will get the way it will become little bit vertical so we will get the way to uh, continue our speed right that means it will decrease here the acceleration that means radius is inverse proportional with what our that acceleration or acceleration is directly proportional uh, inverse proportional to what that radius clear now question number four which of the following has a derived unit derived means derived means uh two or two or units will be that together okay now you see here mass the simple unit because uh, the unit of mass is what kilogram right so time also second you know very well then length is meter now for area area is the answer here because area means what okay the answer is area here because area means what you know very well area that means what that uh, the length square that means meter square correct area so it is derived, derived unit right because here we have used uh, that meter uh, two times correct you don't understand all right so you're asking here how many meters are there in one nanometer so as we know already one meter means 10 power 9 10 to the power 9 nanometer now they are asking in one nanometer how many meters right let's reverse it so now reverse it that means 10 nanometer equal how much one meter let's reverse it that means one nanometer means how much so when it goes down that means one by ten power nine meter just reverse it when this power goes up what happens here ten inverse nine meter right ten inverse nine meter is the option here yes option number c is the correct answer okay okay now question number six if a body is acted by constant force okay acted by constant force on this object then it will have a uniform speed velocity acceleration or momentum the answer is option number c acceleration okay it, uh, which is a suitable method to decrease friction so here they have given polishing lubrication using ball bearing all of these actually all these are used to decrease the friction so the answer is option number d 
now let's come to question number eight question number eight they have given here sound waves cannot travel in air in water in steel or in vacuum so you know very well sound wave is a kind of wave that is called what mechanical wave and you know very well that mechanical wave cannot travel in vacuum only electromagnetic wave only can travel in vacuum right even the others also okay, the option number d is the correct answer right now here question number nine they have given compression and rarefaction are characteristics of longitudinal waves transverse waves or bottom of this or neither of this so you know very well compression and rarefaction sound wave you know very well right and it goes into the this law that compression rarefaction you know first compression then again rarefaction again compression again rarefaction this is the property of which what kind of wave of course it is longer than wave only right next the question number 10 they have given here question number 10 what is given here you see the value of z will maximum at will above the earth surface at the center of earth or below the earth surface or at the surface of earth the answer is option number d at the surface of the earth only it will be maximum and when you go deep it will be reducing and it will become also minimum okay let's come to question number 11 so the value of z small z inside the satellite so inside the satellite they have given here four options one then zero infinity and minus one actually here the option is not given um, it's not exactly zero okay it's near only so that means since we don't have option here so we have to give the answer as b only let's come to question number 12 what is given here which among the following is a form of energy form of energy okay of, uh, here given pressure velocity momentum and light so of course then our answer is option number a light light is a kind of energy right you know very well next question number 13 they have given which altitude the refractive index of air layers decreases increases remains same or does not depend on height so ussota bhala lagale bio bio store pori pori hornanko ki hoy this is uh, when we increase the uh, height okay that time that refractive index will be decreasing okay okay now question number 14 which of the following mirror is used by a dentist to examine a small cavity the answer is b concave mirror okay concave mirror so that we used to get a larger image okay now question number 15 they have given here rainbow are formed by reflex reflection and diffraction or reflection and scattering or dispersion and total internal reflection and the interference only the answer is option number c because you see uh, after raining so as you know after raining uh, the rainbow is to form okay just opposite to the sun because when uh, in the atmosphere you know the right the, the, the rain droplet will be there and it will work like a prism so when that white light of sunlight will pass through the uh, that uh, water droplets then the white light will splits up into seven different colors that is known as dispersion the answer is option number c okay question number 16 they have given here uh, snell's law of refraction snell's law okay for refraction one law is used that is snell's law and the answer is option number a that sine i by sine r is the mu2 by mu1 okay Question number 17 they have given in a closed system the total energy is always constant okay in a closed system total energy is always constant because it is closed it's not, it will not be uh, used anywhere so it is constant next question number 18 they have given here when the velocity of a body is double velocity is double okay it is double it is double then the kinetic energy is what option number is the answer you can see because the formula is half mv square so when you double it what is to happen half of this is the first time okay the second time m into if this uh, velocity will be double now so twice v whole square so what you get here half of m into 4 v square 2 to cancel that means we got here twice m v square correct twice m v square you got here right and here it was uh, only half m v square then if you see here it is four times the half m v square right so times because to get half mb square we have to multiply here by 4 right of course you can see and this number is the 4 times this half mb square is the 4 times here 
or to become this one to become this one to become this 2 mb square we have to multiply here by 4 correct is the concept clear okay now question number 19 when a stone is tied to a string stone is tied to a this is the stone to a string okay this is the center then it is revealed in a circle so when you move it now the work done by it on the string is by this object now so it will move like this the circular part then what happens the work done will be what they're asking here positive negative zero or none of this the answer is zero you see here the object uh, wants to come the forces here along the center that means the centripetal force okay and the displacement it goes always in the tendential direction that means the force and mm, that displacement here 90 degree right and you know work done formula was what f into f dot s this cos dot product okay and when you break it f s cos theta we get and theta is here what is the angle theta 90 degree and cos 90 gives us always cos 90 gives us always what zero degree so it becomes zero tensor is option number c okay now question number 20 the sonar technique is used to determine depth of sea submarine iceberg all of these options this one because for all these things we use uh, sonar okay so here we use the ultrasound. Hmm. 